I'm Alan Spears with Occupy Democrats, and in a recent interview with the very fair and incredibly balanced clown show known as Fox News, former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy had some very interesting things to say about former presidential candidate and first lady Hillary Clinton. Uh, take a look at this clip and see for yourself some of the sweet little lies the former speaker had to say. These people talk about a democracy. Danger but to they, democracy. They are the dangers to try to deny democracy to this country. This is really concerning to me what the Biden and the Democrats have done. I mean, has... But, but has I want to get into the trial more but in the next Hillary segment. But has Hillary ever said she lost the 2016 election? Yeah, she called Donald Trump and conceded. But she never in press ever says that. Uh, she well, says it was... She did call she Donald Trump and uh, conceded. Yeah. All right, so let's get... <laughs> You know, it is actually almost funny if it weren't so sad just how easily some of these Republicans' lies are so easily fact-checked. You can you can just do a cursory glance. Just go to your little search bar, tippity tappity right up there in the search bar, and, and then you'll see for yourself. Don't don't take my word for it. You can see this yourself. Take a look here from the Washington Post. We have Hillary Clinton congratulating Donald Trump on a successful presidential campaign and offering to work with the president, uh, you know, clearly offering a bit of an olive branch uh, and extending some goodwill to try to come together in the name of unity. You know, very kind of standard fanfare, but r right there, that alone right there should tell you that that she conceded. She's, she's saying he's going to be president right there. You want some more evidence? Sure, why not? Take a look at this clip from NPR right here. Hillary Clinton conceding and congratulating Donald Trump on his victory. What else do you need? She is saying right here, I'm sorry we didn't win. This isn't the outcome I was hoping for. What else do you need, Kevin? Do you want her going around DC waving the white flag saying, I surrender, I give up, I'm not the president. This is what I don't understand. So many of these far right MAGA enthusiasts and Donald Trump supporters just they don't, it's, the reality is so separate from everyone else's, and what, what is the truth? Like, this is such a blatant lie from Kevin McCarthy, and we all know it, I know we all know it, it's easily, immediately proven false. Heck, even the Fox News host calls him out on that. That should tell you really just how blatant of a lie it is that even Fox News is going to call it out. Look. If we are going to have any chance of healing from the wounds inflicted upon us by Donald Trump and all of his cabinet and cohorts, we're going to have to start calling this crap out. And honestly, in a rare moment, I'm going to give a little bit of praise to Fox News. They did that. They called him out on this crap. And you all have to do this too. We can't allow these lies to just be perpetuated and not have any sort of ramification. This is the kind of crap that Trump and all of his far right allies do. And it is up to us. It is up to you to stand up and say, you're lying. Stop it. Don't give these people the attention. Don't give them the financial support. Don't give them anything. They are nothing and they always will be. We all want this country to be the best possible version of itself. And sure, we may have differing ideas on how to best approach that. But one thing we can all be certain of is we have to get rid of the liars like Kevin McCarthy who sit there on national television perpetuating these lies out of office, out of any semblance of power. That is why it is so important for you to vote. Please vote people like Kevin McCarthy, these phonies, these liars who get up on the national stage and lie to our faces and all the rest of the world. Get them out of office. Vote. Send a message to Washington that we are not going to stand for these kinds of people. And thank God Kevin McCarthy is the former speaker.